Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Rekha'a Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well to this day. And I shall also Shalom to the hopeful elect that is uh, laboring this work, that's pushing forth this word in this ministry and this gospel to the other members of the hopeful elect and one third in all faith, truth, and sincerity, and all charity. Um, the topic of this video is going to be entitled, What Has Marching Done for Jacob? Or what has marching done for you Israelites? Okay, because this has been an ongoing thing, a uh, theme with our people, especially uh, the so-called Negroes uh, that's residing here in America, you know, because back uh, years ago, you had uh, Martin Luther King, which uh, which uh, led our people to uh, marching in the streets. And guess what? What came out of that is is, is what? Nothing. Because if you observe what is going on in society, you know, you have Jake that's saying, well, ever since, you know, uh, we, we we were marching during that time. And this is from an old Jake, you know, old, old uh, Israelites, you know, they say, well, because of, of marching, you know, they, they've gotten their rights. Well, the thing is, is that, you know, the, the really the so-called white man, in which his true biblical nationality is of the nation of Edom, according to the Bible. Really, those rights that have been given onto you, of course, there are privileges, but and still to this very day, still, you're being treated as nothing. All right. Our people are being treated any any sort of type of way. So really looking at it now in 2020, it really hasn't helped any, at, at all. All right. Because now here it is once again, you uh, Jake once again is marching in the streets. All right. And guess what's going to come out of this this uh, venture? Nothing. All right. Because uh, and, and not just this, you know, you also got. Um, you know, other other parts of, of uh, protests as well that's going on. But again, you know, this is this is not going to uh, give our people rest, because really, that's what our people are looking for. They're looking for rest. And, and peace in this society. But the thing is, is that they forget about the most high. All right. Because in, in the midst of everything that's going on, there is no mention of the most high. There's no mention of the Lord of the Bible. There's no mention of prophecy, no mention of any of that. All right. And that's why the Lord consistently jacks our people up because of that. All right. There's a reason why he always deals judgment towards our people, because they're not remembering the Lord. All right. And, and the Lord is big about that to uh, re remember him in his ways. OK. And see, now we're coming back into that time to where we're now remembering and we're causing our people to remember through the spirit and power of Yahweh about Shemuel Shai. Us that's doing the work of the Lord right now is causing our people to remember. But they choose not to remember the Lord, Yahweh Bashim El Shai, but rather go about their own ways of, of doing things. In case in point, which you, which you see on the screen, which is a, one of the uh, the the marchings and the protests that that they're doing across America and other parts of the world. All right, because if they knew the scriptures, our people, then they wouldn't be doing this. All right, why? Because our Lord, Yahweh Bashim El Shai, said that He is going to be the one to uh, stand up for us. All right. Instead of our people taking matters into their own hands, because guess what? In, in the end of this, you know, our people are taking matter, matters into their own hands. Guess what? What's going to come out of that is your is their destruction. OK, because through that, you know, that's Esau, Esau is pretty much building up a case against our people, Israel. Which. uh consists primarily of the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Esau's building up a case to, to, to come at them, all right, and to uh, lock them up, man, all right? You know, this is going to cause further uh, contentions in which uh, Israel's going to get caught up out there, man, all right? And, and rightfully so, okay, because our people have no business out there, you know, taking part in this, but, you know, they're ignorant of what's really going on in which, you know, we understand and we're not going to lose sleep over, you know, why they're doing this. We already know why they're doing this. 
And the cause of why they're doing it is because our people are all emotional. All right. They 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 um, base their actions off their emotions. OK, because they feel some type of way about this or that instead of taking heed to the council, leaving off their emotions. All right. Leaving their emotions in 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 in, um, in the dust. And reasoning and considering. All right. <laughs> There's a reason why I, I made the series, which is I uh, uh, consider because our people don't consider, man. All right. But they're led by their own emotions, especially the men that are. Um, that are of our nation. They're led by their emotions, just like the women. All right. Because, you know, women are emotional creatures and that's a fact. OK. And just and the men that are uh, also operating in this manner, they're just like women. All right. They they uh, they base their actions off their emotions. OK. But again, man, where, where, where has marching gotten, gotten you, Jake's man? Where has marching gotten you, Israelites? in this society. It's not going to get you anywhere because the society is not built for our people. All right. This place is, is the land of our captivity. Okay. So until our Lord returns and, and delivers us out of this place is going to be nothing but anguish and, uh, and, um, and wickedness. All right. Towards our people. And oppression. So this is Zephaniah chapter three, uh, start at verse uh, verse eight. OK, now this is what we are supposed to do. OK, now the Lord didn't say go out and march up and down the streets saying black lives matter. No, this is what the Lord is uh, telling us what he's about to do. So this is at verse eight. It says, therefore, wait ye upon me, save the Lord, Yahweh about Shemel Shai until the day that I rise up to the pray. OK. So the Lord is going to be the one to rise up to the prey. And who's the prey? Esau or Edom, which again, Edom is the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man. OK. And not only oh, not only Esau, but these other nations as well. OK. So the Lord is going to be the one to rise up to the prey. All right. So wait on him. Wait on the Lord. Yeah. About Shimon Shai. OK. And like I said earlier, Jacob, you know, our, uh, our people, Israel, they take matters into their own hands because they're ran by their emotions. Okay. Uh, read none says, for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. See? Now, there's another precept I want to grab. Uh, because again, they're following after the spirit of Martin Luther King by marching, marching uh, up and down the streets nonstop. All right. But what does the scripture say, say about being in that spirit? All right. Um, let's see. Verse, I'm going to start verse 22. So this is Jeremiah chapter 23, verse uh, 22. It says, but if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, talking about the, the prophets they were there during that time. And guess what? That's that's also tying into in today. OK, because you have leaders of our people. Right. Which have led our people astray. All right. But they haven't led them to the council of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. They haven't led them to, to hear the words of the Lord. All right. If anything, they led our people to hear the words of uh, of Serapis Christus, in which they they call today as uh, uh Jesus Christos. All right. You know what I'm talking about. The J man. Okay, it says then they should have turned from their evil way and from from the evil of their doings. Am I a power at hand? Saith the Lord Yahweh Bashimel Shai, and not a power far off? And he's not, man. He that the most high is near even to this very day. All right. You know, the people don't see that. But us that is of the spirit, we we see it clear as day, man. The most high is near. All right. He's not a far off. And that's why things are happening in this fashion. That's why our people are being judged, man. OK, that's why tensions are starting to grow between Jacob and Esau. Between the so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans and between the so-called white man. All right. Because he's near. Verse 24. 
Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiel Shai. Do not I fill heaven and earth? Saith the Lord. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Who does that sound like? That's Martin Luther King. That's his speech where it says, uh, I have a dream. And guess what that dream that, that he was trying to push? He's pushing the, the, the dream of, of equal, the, what, the, uh, what the society sees as equality. All right. And here it is, the Most High has set up our people to be the top nation on the planet Earth. Actually, let me see if I can get it real quick. I'm going to let the word speak for itself. Right, I'm not judges. Uh, it should be um, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. Now, this is what Yahweh Shemuel Shai has deemed as his own people and also as well as a people that is above every, any other people, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. See? So the Lord has set up and chose Israel to be his special people unto himself above all people that are on the earth. All right? Now, here it is. You got Martin Luther King, who says, I have dreamed, I have dreamed, and which is a false dream, which is of Israel and, and uh, Esau or Edom to come together in the, under the, uh, the spirit of, of equality, in which the Lord has specifically made Israel to be above all other nations. All right. And that's what they're marching for. They're marching for equality. Right. Now, knowing that the Most High Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son in the ancient Hebrew, not knowing that the Lord has deemed them above all people upon the face of the earth. So that's why the Lord is against things of this nature. Okay? Because if they would have been led to the true counsel of the Lord, they would they would not be doing that. All right. Um let's see. Uh verse 26. Uh how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. See? So through, a, through this false prophet's dream, they have forgotten the name of our Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. They forgot the, uh, the the will of our Lord. All right. But have been told that the most high is for equality and everybody coming together as one. When the, there's been countless times to where the Lord has has uh trodden down nations for the sake of Israel. All right. And when Israel went off, the Lord will, will go against Israel and judge Israel. All right. So it's nothing new, man. The Lord does not change. Okay. So again, marching is not going to get Jacob anywhere. Our people anywhere. You know, marching is not going to solve anything. Okay. The Lord, how about Shemuel Shai would have to step in. All right. And he has stepped in. All right. He, he He's a, allowed men through the spirit and power of how about Shemuel Shai to set up, to uh, basically come under his counsel and to uh, tell you what was about to happen. And and I'll uh, show you things that need to be done in order for you to be delivered, in order for you to to, uh, to receive mercy from Yahweh Bashem El Shai, because the Lord is about to get down, man. All right, the Lord is about to get down, and and, and he's about to get down to business, and in that time, it's going to be no more talking. So it's best to get the talking out of the way right now, than facing the judgment that's to come, where there's no talking. All right. He's going to, he's, at that point, he's going to be taking action. Okay. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end off on that note. Uh, Lord's will is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. To next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. 
and double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and real well to this day. And also shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the whole for elect that is uh, continually laboring this work. It's giving your diligence to make your calling, an election sure in faith, in truth and sincerity, and all charity. And with that, I'm going to say shalom.